Howdy y'all, it's Ahika here and welcome to another adventure. We are continuing in Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker in the Pandemonium Raids. The last Pandemonium fight went quite a bit longer than expected, so I haven't done the ending scenes for that yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And to join us for the final fight in Pandemonium is again, my brother Orion. Say hello. Yo. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump on in. He's already, all right, have you already unlocked it or no? Yep, I'm waiting. Okay, he's already unlocked it again. Waiting on me again. Thank you so much. So let me go ahead and unlock it, and let's figure out what's going on. Um, so TLDR, if you don't remember what happened last time, we went in, and Eric was possessed by Doppelganger La Habrea younger version um, <laughs> because of Eric's desires to bring his mother back, Athena. Uh, so we fought two of the former keywords where the second one was transformed into this weird old petrified tree thing that you can apparently fall off the stage of. Um, and so now La Habre times. <laughs> I only fell once and it was a total mistake. So <laughs> excuse me. So um, La Habrea is going to help us go in to stop Doppelganger La Habrea. Hephaest no, it's not Hephaestus. What's the guy's name? Hephaestus was the last guy. This is, um... I stopped at the first letter, I'm not gonna lie. I did, I'm gonna hurt myself Hef trying to say Hephaestus or something like that? La Habrea's real name. So La Habrea is going by La Habrea, and his doppelganger is going by his actual name. And we also found out that Themis... Ooh, look, my Lunar Blossom sold. We also found out that Themis Themis is actually Elidibus now, and this does take place chronologically after the events of Endwalker, where you meet Vanak. Okay, that's all. Let's go in. La Habrea, finish the storyline for me. Oh yeah, these names. <laughs> Aggie, <laughs> Aggie. <laughs> Aggie was ever a bold woman, even in her final moments, that she would unearth the secrets of my past for all to look upon. Still, full glad am I that she faced you as her last opponent. I could think of none more worthy to send her soul off to the other side. Aw, La Habrea can be nice. In his own weird way. Domestic and nice and honorable. I suppose. La ha 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 ha, Brea! That's now. Who do you think the final fight is? It's probably him. Probably I was thinking him. the same thing. I think it's gonna be younger La ha Brea. The doppelganger. I think he's gonna be the last boss. That or it's Eric again. The vision, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the vision you saw told the story far more eloquently than I ever could. Athena was consumed by her research and was willing to sacrifice her own child if it hastened her progress. She did not offer him a position here out of a sense of love or pride. It was merely because she knew he would be the most pliable test subject. Oh, I see now why you hid the truth from him. I cannot say with certainty that Eric Thonius could handle the weight of such betrayal. After holding his mother on a pedestal for so long, I think she was going to die. Unfortunately, it seems not even her death had ensured her his safety. Hephaestus! It's Hephaestus! Then who is the other guy's name? I don't know. Hephaestus has taken up Athena's research and succeeded in creating Hemithoi. Hemithoi? I know not what his ultimate end is, but his plane is connected with the resurrection of Athena. The knowledge alone is sufficient to direct our next course of action. As for the rest of your story, we shall hear it after we have returned Eric Thonius to safety and acquainted to Aggie's last wish. Very well. And we go. I can at least assure you that finding him shall prove relatively simple now that Hephaestus is no longer bent pandemonium to his will. There is but one place left for him to find refuge, the Black Heart of Tartarus, where Athena built her testing compound. We can assume that Hephaestus will offer fierce resistance. I must focus my effort, every effort on securing a safe means of approach. So am I alone? Okay, no. I'll clear the path! La Habrea, I would ask that you assume the duty of summoning Teheka's Phantom Warriors. I have no objections. My ability to fight within Tartaros will be greatly diminished in any case. Wait, so you're gonna be summoned by La Habrea? 
Yeah, I feel dirty. I know. I'm going to be summoned by Law Prayer for you. That just feels wrong. However, I wish to deal the final blow to Hyphaestus myself. There is no need to dirty your hands with such a deed. No, okay, no. He's always been a two-crossing scumbag. I bet he's not going to kill Hephaestus. I think we're going to fight Hephaestus. We're going to quote-unquote kill him, but Lahabrea is not going to kill him. I think Lahabrea is going to like reabsorb that knowledge or whatever into him. He's just so twisted. I don't think he like... If this is the same Lahabrea that we met in our time... There's no way he wasn't that screwed up to begin with. He's got to be lying. I take it then that you have no intent to seal him away as before. The presence I felt when I encountered Hephaestus bore little resemblance to the entity I created. By his own hand, he has become something far more wicked. The same magics that once shackled him may very well shatter before the power he wields. On my pride as a researcher, I am loath to repeat the same mistake twice. I would not see these events play out again, and so he must be extinguished. We'll see if you actually extinguish him, because I don't trust you. Well then, I shall open the way forward. May we finish this together! Alrighty. Do 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 do. Bong! <laughs> oh golly gee oh man okay so I've oh he's glowing still okay okay I got my keyboard this time again yay no walking up platforms this time do you think there's going to be multiple platforms again? I didn't mean to. It looked like... I'm going to look at that again. It looked like it was just a straight, clear shot. It looked like I was perfectly safe. I missed it by, like, a hair. A hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, brother? I'm still waiting for you. I'm at the gate. I'm at the gate. Well, then let's go. <laughs> okay, I wasn't exactly at the gate. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. Enter Abyssos, the eighth circle. Okay, so the picture looks like pipes and cages in less than five minutes. Um, nom 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 nom. I take two Thavnerian teas? No, I'm gonna only take one. Ah! Oh, that was quick! <laughs> Send my howdy do's. And my first time remarks. Okay. So if we fail, I don't know you. No, we are siblings. Eric! Is that Eric? Eric, no! Are we gonna fight Eric again? Eric Thonios is mine. Heart and soul. And with your death. None will be left to stop me. Oh, when did Laha Bray get such an annoying voice? It's very deep and not annoying right now. Whoa! Perfect imperfection. We got the music again. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you next to me? Please be next to me. Yes, you are! Oh, man. You think he's gonna have a face change? Oh, you're the one with the tank stance on. We going? Okay, I did the ready check. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. What? No one pulled! Everyone said they were ready! I thought someone was gonna pull! Sorry! No, I meant someone other than me. No, he 
pull. Don't worry about it. No, I did. But I thought I, I can't. Okay, it was kind of my fault. I cast thinking that someone pulled. Oh, shoot! Ow! Oh! Okay, how do you know? I'm following the bird. Yes, but like... Okay, hold on. I didn't understand how that just worked. <laughs> Set the kid, move on. Reforge reflections. Oh, wrong button. Okay, I have a feeling I have to stand over here then. Because he has like a long arm over there. Oh, it's a look away mechanic! That was pretty cool. Okay, it's dead. Wait, is this the music from that one thing? Oh yeah, so specific. That one thing that's so No! The the music. Academia Niter. It sounds like Academia Niter. The dungeon it's the dungeon where you go on the back of, um, Bismarck. Oh! Oh! Alright, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, he, he tethered to it. Oh, so there's one- oh, no! I thought so. Okay, then it moves again. How do you know? Follow them. I'm just following. How do you know which ones he's doing? It's not, it's not just flashing. The mechanics, you saw the plane jump out of one puddle and jump into another one. Oh, I didn't see that. I wasn't looking. <laughs> this is why I played Mega Man my whole life. It seems like a lot of these, because you compared um the trial to like an overhead shooter. It seems like a lot of these are like triggering your old school memories. <laughs> old school gaming memory. Okay, now he has Oh my god! Okay, is that the 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 um the one that separates its head? Oh what? I think you can go either way. What? Okay, so No no no! And then this way. Oh, thank God I just made it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I was confused at first. Rearing Rampage. Oh, you're taking some heavy damage. I'm also burning. It's okay, though. You're barding? Oh, you're burning. I thought you said you were barding for a second. I was like, you're not a bard. Volcanic torches, okay. Okay, three blue lights that are growing. I have a feeling they're bad, so I'm gonna stand over here. Yep, don't wanna be in the box. Ah! Oh, it's a cross of songs! Now it's playing the song that played uh, when you fought Lahav Brea when he was combined with that other one at uh, the, the lake, the Silver Tier oh, Lake. Yeah. Wow, this is good music! Yeah, I can't tell what the bird's gonna do. You're just gonna have to tell me. Oh my god, this song! Was I supposed to move? No, no, it's Reforged Reflection. 
I thought he'd have a face change. He's technically changing as we speak. No, okay, there's form change and there's face change. And we also have not gotten that far yet. Oh, shoot, okay. Ah! Okay. Um, don't be on the edges. Don't be on the edges, yeah. Oh, he went off! We didn't kill him in time! Oh, snap! We didn't kill the DPS in time, or the uh, ads in time. We at least got a wife. Perish in flames and race. I'm gonna write ouchies. <laughs> Unless you two think you can totally do 47%. I mean, if you're confident that you can clear 47%, he's all yours. Okay, now I can see this bird flying mechanic. Oh, it's like a serpent. Get yeah, just back. run into the wall. Oh, run into a puddle. Oh. <laughs> or he'd get shot in the back. Okay, I'm just gonna set the ready check right now. Okay, go. Oh, that's a long countdown. <laughs> At five, I'm gonna start casting. He should have cast like a four. I didn't realize my food sped up my cast or something because that only took three seconds. Um, or I think it was two seconds. It was much quicker than normal. In my defense. Yeah, this fight, this, this fight makes sense. It's not mechanically annoying. Okay. Oh! The snake goes through the middle. Okay. And the phoenix goes through the sides. Okay. I get it. for the tells. Oh my god, this music, because it combines like. Cause yeah, technically Academia and Nighter, wouldn't that be where La Habrea worked? Yeah. <clears throat> oh man, it makes so much sense. Okay, so this form does the ads? Oh no, this form does the weird pushback thing. Oh, so middle, middle on this side. Okay. Middle, push. Oh, I went to the wrong side! Ah, shoot. I went to the wrong side. Heal me! Heal me! The fire is a flower! God! <laughs> How can you cough when you're burning? Anakin. I think it's just. My inner fluid's boiling, and it's just gurgling through my esophagus. <laughs> Heal me! I won't survive this! Heal me! Heal me! Oh my god! Okay, so they're gonna start there. Okay, and then they jump there. And then they jump there. Did I do it right? Yay! Oh, darn it. Okay. I'm back at a boy.
they won't. Do you really think La Habrea is going to kill him? No. I don't think so either. Do you think we're going to have to kill La Habrea and Eric's going to become the La Habrea that we fight? Probably. Oh. That would break my heart. Like, my heart's already broken because of Themis. Okay, ads. Got him. We are successful again. You always talk too soon. You need to stop doing that. I'm that positive that we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Okay, I remember that you're burning again. <laughs> well, as long as he doesn't do that, like, four-legged version again, I'll be fine. Up here. I say up. I meant uh, west. You got you it. This way or that way. Okay, and then they go again. Which way are you going? That way. So go north. And then birdie birdie. No! Hey, I made it to number seven again. Yay! <laughs> ah! Okay. Of course, I just happened to place my ley lines between the boss and the tank. Yeah, because that's where you want to be, right? Well, technically, my ley lines were down first. Oh, no, it's this form again. This is the form I said I wish didn't come up. You will know my okay. Okay, so I got to run this way. What? One. Two. Up, 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 up. Three, over, 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 I gotta remember to watch for the snake. Okay, where are you going, little dragons? Oh, now it's this and this? Yeah. What? The oh, don't go in the middle. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. No! Playing Viper, that's the tank. Okay, 30%. I shall see my wish fulfilled. Okay, arm phase yeah, is as I think. Yep. Didn't look away. I 
can't reach the other one. You guys got it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was on the wrong side of the bridge. It cost me, uh, it, it cost me uh, to get hit by that, though. No, 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 no! Why? The Reaper used to limit break. That was not a strong limit break. Well, it took out like 5%. It yeah. I think it took out like 5%. I just don't think they should have used it because we could still wait. Shouldn't use it till they're like 10% or less. Where's that confidence you were talking about earlier, huh? I mean, we're gonna do great. I don't know what the worry is. Like, for sure, let them use the limb break. It's fine. It's fine. I'm telling you. Whatever <laughs> you say, it's fine. Nothing good happens. Hey, in my defense, I didn't say trading was fine. Ha 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 ha! Eleven percent. I will say I'm not stressing over this fight as much as I was the other one. The third one. Yeah. Yeah, I do think the third one was like the hardest one. Oh! Ah! I screwed up. I'm fine. Die! 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 Go away! <laughs> Got him. I don't think, um, I don't think he's gonna kill him. A business complete! Hello, La Habrea. Now we end this. And you say... <laughs> Roll for Oh, sweet, okay. Alright, here we go. I just realized La Habrea's symbols all over the floor. The chains of events that led to this moment began with my error. When out of mercy I confined you here. Now I break it, leave no trace of you behind. This is not over! I see you will not go peacefully. Even a cast-off would uphold his pride, though such an impulse must speak to the overwhelming arrogance of my other half. The name Hephaestus shall grow to eclipse yours. None shall remember the deeds of Lahabrea once I fulfilled Athena's ambition and bring Erichthonius' Erith dream to life. What's his dream? You speak as if you care wit for the boy. Why do you cower behind him? There are some desires which must not be realized. Athena would see the world destroyed if it meant she could find hers in her ruins. As for Eric.
Ooh, that's a good picture. I know I should be like, yeah, so sorry. <laughs> he knows not what his wish would beget. A truth which you have hidden from him. Do you truly believe a father's role is to deceive and manipulate? Arg. Wake up, Eric. My wish? You would claim the name Hephaestus and call yourself his father. Yet you blind his mind and body in dark chains. Find, huh? Your words and your pride ring hollow. Athena wanted her son by her side, and he desires to return there. What wickedness is there in many a broken family? Athena cared not for Erthonius beyond how he could serve her ends. You claim to be acting in his interests, but tis plain you are no different. As I ushered Athena to her end, I vowed that my sole mission in life would be to guide this star true. In service to that vow, I silenced the whispers of my heart. I could not nurture a son whilst an entire world looked at me for guidance. For that choice, I bear the responsibility. Oh, I couldn't upload my picture. Yet, he is still my son, and I am not suffer you to seduce him with false hope. You, who are not but bitter dregs of Athena and I, the very worst of us. Mother, she know then who have all. Oh. He loves his mom. Trust in La Habrea. I can never say that. Hearken to your heart or come back to us. Come back to us! I hear you. I owe you and Themis an apology. Athena, did you ever? In La Habrea, I... I will have my say! Yeah! How? Oh, his mind was mine. No, it wasn't. I can't explain. Take his words reached me through the haze. They rang loud and clear. As did the words of another, in a voice much like yours, but resounding with truth. He's gonna lock him away. He finally has the bow off! How? When did you master these bonds? Oh, we've interred much worse. Be proud of your son! You're worth a <laughs> Oh snap. His stone. Oh, Eric. It appears my failure have borne fruit after all. Stone. Don't keep it, give it to me. Say you're proud of your son. Say you're proud of your son. Yeah, you did well, son. Finally. But you know what's the terrible thing? If Eric doesn't become the new La Habrea, that means Eric died in the sundering, either by self-sacrifice or sundering. 
Oh man, that's or, rough. Or others got out, remember? No, there were only three who got out unsundered. Everyone else was either sundered or killed. Sundered, killed, you or sacrificed. Last, you don't remember the last raid series? Yeah, no, she was sundered. So the convocation members, other than the three, were still sundered. It's just that the unsundered then tried to help them reclaim their memories of their former selves. They were still sundered, though. There were only three who survived unscathed, which was La Habrea, Elidibus, and him itself. And they're all dead now. But yeah, if he doesn't become La Habrea, who eventually dies anyway later by King Thordon, then he dies when the world ends. Ah, that's so sad. Anyway. <clears throat> With Hephaestus' essence contained in this crystal, we may safely return Erichthonius above. That he would bind Hephaestus with only half his senses intact. You quite understand his adeptness in the art of internment. It was hardly what I had in mind, but a feat deserving of praise nonetheless. Ah, oh, well, yeah, you appreciate, you appreciate something. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good job, Lopper. Yeah, huh? Well, you keep paying like that, you're gonna hyperventilate. There you go. I feel no trace of Hephaestus' poison in your mind, and for a blessing, it appears your body is none the worse for wear. Demis? Demis! Made my way here as soon as I could. I no longer sense Hephaestus, and the force assailing Pandemonium's barriers has ceased. Are you rid of him? Good and for all? For good and all? Yeah, sure. Yeah, can't read, but yeah, we did it. Eric trapped him in a stone with the help of his pappy! I see. Despite his muddled senses, Eric felt that to seal Hephaestus away was the proper course. It wasn't so noble as that. I only knew something that had to be done, so I acted. Lahabrea. Was that how you dealt with Hephaestus in the past? Indeed. It was not but the parts of my memory and soul that I had cut away. A massive ether without a material vessel. Storing his essence within a crystal was the more logical choice. But then how did he get out? On that matter, I believe the time has come for you to share the rest of your tale. Hephaestus' creation and Athena's end. Yeah, we need to know the truth, yo. I heard your words, but only vaguely. As if from under the surface of a deep pool. My mother wished to use me? Yeah. I would hear the whole truth. I want to know what happened here and what drove Athena to act as she did. I am ready. Are you? Ooh, that's a good picture. And you ain't. <laughs> Athena's brilliance outshone us all. Even the other members of the words of La Habrea were as children in comparison. So dedicated to research was she that it was unheard of for her to forget meals or even sleep. Her mind was ever grasping for knowledge, and it was in this endless research that she became obsessed with uncovering the secrets of life. You see, while we can conceive life in various forms, the means of creating a soul are beyond our ken. Similarly, though we can enhance and alter our physical vessels, we have ever been bound to them. Athena's purpose was to shatter these limitations. So limitations as we were not meant to surpass. Such limitations we were not meant to surpass. She sought to enter the realm of the gods. Scarce few have the ability to comprehend what such a task entails, let alone the courage to attempt it. For most, the theory would be an idle fancy, considering once and then discarded. Not so for Athena. As leader of the words of La Habrea, I spoke with her often about transcending our being. From an academic perspective, the challenge has played countless researchers through the ages. It was during these musings- Oh, you couldn't upload that one either? That's so mean. <coughs> Sorry, La Habrea. <laughs> during these musings, I began to formulate a theory means by which a person could meld with a creation. The weaknesses of one would be mitigated by the strengths of the other, and the result could bring something greater than we have ever imagined. Although it was but a theory, Athena insisted I develop it further, curious about every detail along the way. Our conversations became more frequent, and our platonic relationship grew into something much more. Ah, and then they fell in love, I take it I was born not too soon after. That is correct. I could not keep it in my pants. 
<laughs> Jess. <laughs> I believe she bore true affection for me and was blind to her hidden intention. When Pandemonium was built and she requested to lead the researchers, I saw no reason to deny her. Even setting aside our relationship, her accomplishments as a scholar made her the obvious choice. However, in giving her Pandemonium, I also gave her free reign to conduct whatsoever experiments she could devise. And when you found out what she was doing, you killed her. Persuaded her to stop. I made haste to Pandemonium the moment I learned these hidden chambers. I left Aggie to keep watch from Tartarossa's vestibule as I ventured deeper, knowing not what would wait for me. That's what occurred next. Tis best to see you with your own eyes. Oh, they're gonna show us her death? Dude, she fell in love with you and had a kid for power. <laughs> Wouldn't this memory technology would have been so much more beneficial if, like, we had it during Shadowbringers? Is that me? He is experimenting on him. You are well aware that out of respect for our neighbors and Elpis, the research of pandemonians are not to be masked. But you stand before me with your face covered. What petty defiance is this? What indeed? So quick you are to rebuke me, but you yourself have not set foot in these halls since their inception. You must have known you cannot conceal this from myself and Aggie forever. As well you know that I cannot allow it to continue. I shall say this but once. Release Eric, else I shall have no choice but to strike you down. He's seeing that his father saved him. I would meet my end at the hands of no other. However, ere my time come, I will have you know the why of it. Then you will not desist. Once you understand what has driven me this far, you shall see that stopping was never an option. So he killed her. Feelings of one weighs little against the needs of the entire star. Of course, of that I am well aware. But you did not deign to descend from your lofty height simply to lecture me as you would a child. You have an interest in my motivations. What possesses Athena, fearless researcher, mother to a son of the great Lahabrea, to embark upon the path of her downfall? History will demand an answer, but it is you who deserves one. Give me your hand, Lahabrea, and we shall know one another more deeply. And I did not finish reading that. <laughs> Impossible. You bonded your souls? Aye, that the boundaries between us would cease to be. She offered me everything to be understood. I found myself unable to refuse. At that moment, my mind was a storm of questions, yet one roared the loudest. She loved me. Yeah, that is the question. Did Athena ever truly love me? Or did she use you? I am become the memory and mind. So she can't die. And I the... So Athena's not really dead if half of her soul is with him. This is getting so cool. Can you feel it? My heart, all that I am. Yes, as if it were my own. Fathomless desire to dissect the mysteries of life, to transcend our mortal flesh and bleed into a higher plane of existence, an unquenchable thirst for knowledge, not a single thought spared for another, for the star. She didn't care. Is 
really didn't care. How disappointing. Yet what is known cannot be unknown. You have beheld my life's work. Try as you might to excise the memory, the seed of desire remains, and when it takes root, you too shall be consumed by the self-same fervor. Oh man. I will dig it out. I will dispense with the corruption of my soul ere you, your rotten insight spreads. And that's when he created his other self. It was my weakest that let the weakness fester, but never again. Today, I cast aside fickle emotion and abide in duty alone. Today, I renounce all that I was and live only as La Habrea. And she's smiling. I think you did exactly what she wanted. <gasps> That's why the pictures I have to win mask. That's why the picture was a half torn mask. He literally tore himself in half. Thus did I forsake the part of myself that had been polluted by Athena, sealing it within a crystal. Never did I think I would one day face those memories made flesh. Forgive my bluntness, but your actions bordered on insanity. Go to such lengths to escape your memories, you nearly rewrote your very existence. Rest assured, the change did not go unnoticed. Our colleagues in the convocation... Igor... Igorathum... I don't know. And Emmett Selk, in particular, made plain the suspicions they harbored. As well they should have. That you escaped with your life nothing was nothing short of a miracle. Why didn't you destroy the crystal then and there? Do you think to one day make use of the knowledge it contained? That's a good question. I will not deny such considerations played into the decision. But my main motivation was fear. I had never attempted such a feat before. The crystal was my sole recourse should something go awry with the remaining soul. In hindsight, cling to it was a mistake born of doubt. Athena must have anticipated that I would restore to such, resort to such methods, and prepared a vessel beforehand that would accept the dregs of my soul. Hephaestus doubtless believed he was performing his duty as a husband and a father should. Yet in truth, he was but a puppet being pulled to and fro by Athena's desire. His goal was not to raise himself high. He thought only t of seeing his dear Athena live again, that she might finish what she began. Yet for all that it, of that, he and I were like. We yet shared a fatal flaw, you see. Our need for control blinded us for our perspectives. Other perspectives. I can't read. While I was in the thrall of Hephaestus, you called out to me. What say you now? Does La Habrea speak true? Don't make me choose. Thank you. He did promise. Yes, and now it's your turn to do the same. What does your heart tell you? What does your heart tell you? I just want to know one thing. Did you truly believe that hiding the truth was best for me, even knowing how I felt about my mother? The La Hebrea, I know, had a fatal flaw after all. I'm still not convinced. I have said all that I can say. Now it's for you to choose to believe me or not. Helpful music. The La Habrea I know holds duty above all else. I would sooner prostrate myself before an erupting volcano than place my fickle emotion in his path. When you return to the surface, you'll doubtless don the mask once more. So before we climb out of this forsaken pit, I suppose I should say... Thank you, Hephaestus. 
You gonna smile? Come on, try to smile. Just, just try. Just, just a little, just a little. Ee -ee, you know. You're just asking for too much. Oh, come on. But if we just destroyed his doppelganger, what's the third tier? Like, did he get far enough along to bring Athena back? Like, what's gonna be the third tier now? Oh my God, there's more. <laughs> I've heard enough. There's more I would yet discuss, but we should first return to Pandemonium's gates. I have my thoughts on the way. Like, they kind of wrapped it all up nice here. Like, I'm guessing Athena has to still be alive. I kept going, and you'll see why. Okay, I'm talking to Eric outside right now. Yeah, you keep going. Okay. I owe you an apology, Dehika. It was due to my own inexperience that Hephaestus was so easily able to take hold of my mind. I also owe you my thanks. If you and Themis hadn't chosen to brave the chaos occurring in Pandemonium, then I would never have known Lahabrea's story. My father's story. This is all getting wrapped up too nicely. Twas a tale I too was fascinated to hear. I very much look forward to speak with Asim upon my return. I cannot help but wonder how much of this she foresaw. I'm afraid I cannot allow that, Elidibus. So long as you retain control of Pandemonium, there's work to be done. What? But of course, I shall first free the remaining warders and restore this place to its former glory. Using the facility as a Tartaros, we should be able to reverse the changes made to the bodies and minds. I shall stay behind to oversee the process. And you, Eric? That is well. I must yet learn why I was considered the key to Hephaestus' experiments and how he intended to revive Athena. Such questions are best left unanswered. In fact, I forbid the pursuit of that knowledge. The boundary between man and creation shall never again be crossed. And I intend to destroy the crystal containing Hephaestus' essence. But this mistake never again repeats. I see no reason to gainsay your judgment. As yet, the matter of your crystal, however, truth be told, I had not considered its origins until I saw the one contained Hephaestus' ether. I was struck by how wholly different they were. There's another. Yeah, I have a crystal. I came from the past, but you're not supposed to know that yet. I'm just a familiar right now. Oh, from the future, technically? While well, imbuing a crystal with memories is a simple process. Storing a message, a warning even would be something altogether more complex. This also means that someone beside the present company, and Asim, was aware of the plot unfolding within Pandemonium. Then why would they not make themselves known, even now? No threat remains. Perhaps it was one of the other warders. We shall question them after they are freed. Yes, Pappy. That task may take some time. A resource I'd rather not steal more from you. Return at your leisure, and we will share our results then. You've done more than enough for the time being. I am of the same mind. Leave the loose ends to us, and continue upon your journey. Or, if you are so inclined, take a much-needed repose. This talk of journey smacks of as- <laughs> It smacks! <laughs> as well it should. She has pledged to keep moving until she has seen every corner of the world. If you do find yourself at the spare moment, you might bring that crystal of yours to La Habrea. You may be able to further ins give further insight. Until then, my friend. I don't want to give him my crystal. It's mine. Ah, oh, we're going back to our time. Aporia. This is one messed up family. Resolved. Why, if it isn't a excuse me if I'm not my usual chipper self, we have not been without our difficulties in your absence. You see, communication with the airship Professor Clendine Commission for his search has long was lost some time ago. Now we have quite lost track where he might be. Shocking. And to make matters work, Nemjiji has just sent word of an unusually large amount of energy coming from somewhere in the Ethereal Sea. I was just on my way to the Ethioscope. In fact, please, would you come with me? What did we do? It's pandemonium! 
Adam. Whoops. What? <laughs> what is that? Is that real? That's bad. How do, blah, blah, blah. We just brought pandemonium to the ethereal sea. Why is that? Yeah, Whenever danger visits the world, you are never far behind. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Mr. Levin. You're. <laughs> and you too, Professor Claudine's assistant, I take it. Oh, he doesn't like us. First, we took his little kids. <laughs> oh, he must hate us. He's like, why did my kids team up with this lady? As you arrive before me, I take it you are involved in this. I would thank you to furnish me with an explanation. Well, I might have gone in the past, you see, because bad things happen. Oh my god, we brought pandemonium. To the ethereal sea. So, Pop 11 year, we went to the past because a crystal told us that something bad was happening and we saved the past, which now the past is somehow screwed up in our ethereal sea, so I might have kind of ruined the timeline? Possibly? Get some quantum physics, don't worry about it. Well, this research summary you submitted to the forum gave us no cause for concern. These details are alarming. Professor's last message indicated he's on his way to Adisla, but we know not whether he ever reached his destination. We done goof. A rash endeavor, even for Claudine. He has ever allowed the thrill of discovery to clout his better judgment. We have no recourse between Tree Ishgard's aid in search of him. As for that unsightly fortress which materialized in the Thero Sea, pandemonium was it? It cannot be left alone. For the time being, information regarding this matter must be strictly controlled so as to minimize panic. We will gather those with knowledge of the ethereal sea and continue monitoring it for further irregularity. Oops. <laughs> we messed up. You two submit a detailed report to the format one. <laughs> At present, we have far more questions than answers. Nevertheless, I would ask for your assistance at such a time that our investigation has concluded. We got up sent to the principal's office. Oh, this is worse than that, dude. This is like the superintendent of the county. <laughs> Very good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must apprise the forum of what has occurred here. We created hell in the ethereal sea. Oh, no. What we did we... Actually, we accidentally put Athena where she wanted to be in the first place. I just realized what she was trying to do. Yeah. No, she... I didn't read all of that. That's fine. She was trying to find a way to hop souls and bodies. What was La Habrea known for doing? What was La Habrea known for doing in our timeline? You know. She's a hijacker. Body hijacker! What she was researching, hijacking bodies, is exactly what the Unsunder did. Emmett hijacked Solus. Elidibus hijacked Ardbert. And La Habrea hijacked everyone under the sun. <laughs> and on that note, I'm out for the night. Me too. That was really good. I'm out. That was interesting to say the least. Wow, that is A, a screwed up family, and B, we done goofed. <laughs> but that's it for now, y'all. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.